What's up, Nets fans? What's up, Nets fans? What up? It's your boy, Mizzo. This is BK Nets Work, and we're back. And guess what? We won! I love it when we win. I love it when we win. Oh, yeah. I got a lot to talk about today. No Kyrie, no Karis. Once again, no problem. Uh, Dinwiddie. Ah, he was the man again, and Jared Allen, but we're going to get into it. How about we get right into this game? Nice. Okay, let's get right into it. The Nets start off nice with the guys that played well the last game. Like I said, Dinwiddie and Allen, they continue to do their thing. Um, Prince puts up four. Prince, um, Prince scores seven. Um, the Nets first 13 points. He was looking really, really good. Terry on Prince, shout out to you. We're gonna get into you too as well. Um, let's go right into it. At the end of the first quarter, the Nets tied it up at 26. The bench looks good. They came in in the end of the first quarter and they started to look really good in the second quarter. DJ had a nice, nice, nice move. It was a nice little layup, spin and layup. It looks good. Uh, Musa's hustle plays and and, 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 and scoring that too, it looked good. The bench, I, I have nothing else to say about the bench. And that Euro step, ooh, after the Rosier Euro that put up, that put the Nets up 10 after that move. Um, Dinwiddie, my G, did, like I said, Dinwiddie, my G, was looking good. He even had Kevin Durant up. <laughs> Kevin Durant was loving that move as well. Um, the Hornets shoot threes to cut the game to five at halftime um we were up five that is and uh you know that was because of the lack of our perimeter defense which i'll get into a little bit later jared allen continues to clean up the glass look good on a put back that puts us that puts us up five temples three puts us up nine temple we're going to talk about you didn't look too good tonight um, and let's get into quarter four. The Nets get ice cold. No field goals for almost six minutes. No field goals at all. I mean, they score at the line, but there's no field goals at all. The Charlotte Hornets cut the lead to three. Big three-point shot by Torreon Prince. Like I said, he was looking good all night. Puts us up six. Nets play well defensively to go up nine with a Prince steal and layup. Ooh, Euros all night, love them. Um, actually, that one wasn't a Euro, but it's still looking. Um, then when he closed the game, and some of shots by the Hornets help us win the game, and that was a wrap. We win by 10. We look good tonight, guys. I have no complaints, no major complaints, because we won this game. Seven Square, they came to the Barclays, we protected home. There was a tough loss last game, but we beat the Charlotte Hornets. The Charlotte Hornets aren't a really good team. I'm not getting too hyped. But a W is a W. We won, and I loved it. Nets fans, Nets fans, you already know your boy's feeling good. I love to win. Two games under 500 right now. Let's climb, climb, climb. One game at a time. But you know what time it is. It's time for the who, who, who for the night. And who do we have? None other than the fro. The fro. Listen, man. I know you guys watch this show because you guys love this show. Tell me how much you love this show by leaving me some comments. Anyway, I digress. Look, man. It Look. This guy, Jared Allen, and Spencer Dinwiddie, by the way. Those two guys have been balling. In Kyrie's absence, in whatever games we've been playing, those two guys have been balling. I'm going to highlight. I'm going to highlight Jared Allen today, man. I have to. I have to. I don't know when you're going to be Hooper of the Night again, my friend, but tonight you are Hooper of the Night, and let's get right into his numbers. Woo! Jared Allen, let's see, he was, he played 28 minutes, under 30 minutes, he shot 9 for 12, scored 22 points, 17 boards, he was horsing them, Cody Zeller had nothing for him, 
Um, he had two steals, no blocks. We want some blocks. We want some blocks. Eight of those 17 rebounds were offensive rebounds. That means he extended possessions for us. Nine defensive rebounds. That means he closed out some defensive possessions for us. Oh, man. Listen, and he was a plus 10 in the plus minus. I know what it means now. Thanks to you guys for sending me some comments. Listen, Jared Allen, since I believe the Bulls game or before that, don't quote me on this, Jared Allen has been playing lights out phenomenally. He's been, I know he, in, in one of the plays, he had a, a missed dunk because the, uh, the ball flew out his hand. But Jared Allen, listen to me, people. Listen to me. At, at the beginning of the season when DJ got signed, I was wondering who was going to start, Jared Allen and DJ. And they played around with it for a little bit, but DJ solidified. I'm not saying anything bad about DJ today. DJ evolved as well. But listen, Jared Allen, he is coming along nicely. Jared Allen, I see those free throws dipping, but other than that, I see major improvements in every facet of his game. He's stronger. He's doing he's doing all the things that he did last year, but it's it, it looks like it's second nature. It looks like he understands completely what he can and can't do. He's taking off as soon as he gets those passes, whether it be from Levert or Dinwiddie. Jared Allen, you are the Hooper of the night, my friend. The Hooper of the night. I got a couple of honorable mentions. Like I said, Dinwiddie's been bomb. Dinwiddie has been ballin'. And the only reason he didn't get Hooper of the night is because that, that shooting percentage, man. But he was a plus 17. Dinwiddie has, are you guys listening to me? Dinwiddie has been ballin'. And excuse me, you don't say Dinwiddie without the my G. Dinwiddie, my G. Let's get into his numbers. 20, 20 points, 8 assists, 4 rebounds, 2 steals. All four of his, he made all 4 of his free throws. 2 for 7 from downtown. Ah, uh, we want that to go up. 7 for 18 for, from the field goal. Ah, we want that to go up. He played 37 big minutes because, <laughs> I'll tell you, he's our backup point guard. So he had extended minutes because uh, Theo Pinson, I love you, UNC, Tar Hill Nation, he can only play very, very minimally. He, he, you know what? It's so crazy. I got to give Theo Pinson some love because what's so crazy is that Theo Pinson, you were, you know, you weren't even a point guard in college, and you're playing point guard now, and you're holding it down, you're holding down the fort. So I'm not saying anything to you. You played phenomenal. Who else played well? Honorable mention also goes to Turion Prince. He was in a slump. I was wondering what was going on with my man Turion. That's my guy. I I, I really like that addition to our team. Turion had 20 points, eight rebounds. He was a plus 17. Woo! We love that. Four assists, one steal, four for five from free throws, four for nine from three points. That's sizzling, by the way. It's not 50%. We'll take 40% or better when it's three pointers. Six for 15 from field goal, though, and that's why you probably didn't get Hooper tonight. And, you know, Jared Allen, he balled. You could have shared it with him, but those, that shooting percentage, you know, that's what we need. But all in all, we had some hoopers, honorable mentions, the guys balled. Great job to these guys. Despite the good play from the Nets, we still were able to find you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Waste, man. You wasted time today, baby. You had a lot of minutes and you wasted it. All right, I'm talking to none other than Garrett Temple. Garrett Temple, you played 31 big minutes. That's almost the whole damn game. You shot one for seven for field goals, one for six from three pointers, four rebounds, that's not bad, two assists, I'll take that. 
four points, my friend. What is that? And a minus three. You was a minus three. Mm, you don't like that. You was definitely a waste man tonight. Garrett Temple has been stepping in nicely um, in Karis LeVert's absence. So I'm not going to kill Garrett Temple too much. Because Garrett Temple, you know, he, he plays defense. He hits shots. Tonight wasn't his night. He was wasteful. What can I say? And look, honorable mention. This is my guy. I'm, I was so happy when they signed him, right? I was so happy when they signed him. He is my guy. Let's talk about Iman Shumpert. Iman Shumpert, you are my guy. But you are going to have to get it together. If you're going to take all these shots, right? All I see was Shumpert. Why are you taking eight shots? I, I don't get it. Eight shots were available to you? I don't think so. I saw a couple of dribble, dribble and step into the shot. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. And you took four three-pointers. You, you didn't hit one of them, right? You got two rebounds. You was a minus five. You got one steal. Very good for that. Uh, you only played 19 minutes, almost 20. And that's why you didn't get waste, man, because you didn't play as much minutes as Garrett Temple. And Garrett Temple played a whole lot of minutes and did a whole lot of wasteful stuff. So that's why he got it. But Iman Shepard, I got my eye on you, man. I got my eye on you. I was happy when they signed you. But you got to get that shooting up. Speaking of shooting, we're going to talk about that in the next segment. In the keys and observations, the shooting overall has been sucky. You know, that's one of my favorite words to use. I, I don't want to get verbose with it. We're just going to say sucky. Sucky shooting. All right? So... Wasteman, Garrett Temple, Honorable Mention, Iman Shumper, what's going on with you guys? All right? Get it together for the next game. All right? Okay, okay, Nuts fans. Woo! Loving that win. I told you, I don't care who we play, man. I don't care who we play. We could play some to a high school JV team. I want to win. I don't care. So, whatever. Whoever we win against, it's a win. All right, let's get into some keys, some observations to see how we got this win, actually. Right? Let's pay attention to some of that. Uh, let's get into some keys and observations. Okay, one of the things that I've observed is we're 2 and 1 without Kyrie against bad teams. What does it mean? Well, it means that we're not a bad team, right? I know everybody uh, 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 want to go ahead, put all your sarcastic remarks in the comments. I know you guys want to be sarcastic. Captain Obvious strikes again. Right. I know obviously we're not a bad team, right? But we've been playing subpar. And I know a lot of Nets fans, I'm on Instagram. I see a lot of Nets fans panicking. Um, like we're, you know, like we're a below tier team and we're not a below team. Yeah, so I see a lot of that going on. I see a lot of panicking. Nets fans don't panic. Like I said, we're not a bad team. Just think that we need to get some time to get it together. I heard Sarah Kustak. Shout out to her. She's so great on, 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 um, on Yes, by the way. Her, Iron Eagle, RJ, all the guys, Ryan Ruko. You guys know, you guys watching with me. Uh, they're great, but she she especially is great. She said some something yesterday that, to, to put the Nets fans at ease, right? I see y'all on the gram, I see y'all on Facebook, man. You guys are acting like the sky is falling. Sometimes I could get like that too. It hurts when you see tough losses, but rest assured, rest assured, all right guys? Um, Another thing, Jared Allen and Din Witty's play have been very inspiring. They've been so good as, as of late. No, I don't know. Yo, they've been the best two players on the squad. I don't know. Y'all disagree with me? Put it in the comments, right? Tell me if I'm bugging. They've been hooping, both of them. Then when he, his shooting percentage is not going to be always up there, but the type of things that then he puts pressure on that defense, his young bro, ooh, 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 yo, it's on, it's, yo, it's on fire right now, his euro, yo, and Jared Allen, man, he's been playing D, he's been grabbing fours, 
He's been finishing strong at the rim. Oh man, I look. I can go on and on. I go on and on, but I'm not because we got other things to talk about. But uh, that's something that I have observed as of late. Those two, man. Those two, they've been on. Even when we lost, even when we got smacked by the Pacers, it was those two. Look at my last episode to see if I'm bugging. All right. We played better defensively tonight. However, that perimeter D still is lacking. That perimeter D is lacking, guys. I don't know what else to tell you. We got to, got to, got to get it together. We got to get it together. How can, I want to know. How come all we do is shoot threes and we can't defend threes? So at practice, what y'all doing? Who, what, what kind of defense y'all running in practice? What kind of defense y'all running in practice? Because all we do is shoot threes. So we should be able to at least hinder some teams from shooting. You understand what I'm saying, Nets fans? You understand my logic here? Since we shoot threes so much, how come our defensive guys, or there isn't a defensive scheme to sell? So what, we're just shooting threes in practice and nobody's stopping us and we feeling good about ourselves in practice and then we can't shoot it in the game? Get into that. I don't know. I don't know. I'll get into a negative. Yeesh. Despite us winning this game, man, for the past couple of games, and like I said, you could refer to, to the previous episode, we have been shooting horribly, 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 like trash. Like, shh. You know, you know, I'm trying to get this posted in a lot of places, so I ain't gonna curse. But like, shh, I don't get it. I don't get it. We've been shooting horribly. I'll give you tonight. Tonight, we won the game. We won the game. And it was, uh, we shot 40% field goal. We shot 36 of 90 from field goals. This is continuing to be a problem. We shot 39 threes, only made 10 but shooting 25.6, 26% from three. We haven't hit 35% in the past couple, three games at least. We haven't even hit 35% from threes. And all we do is take three. Live by the gun, die by the gun. Live by the gun, die by the gun, man. Today we shot well from the free throw line, 19 for 23, that was inspiring. We out-rebounded them by 15, thanks to Jared Allen. Thank you. But I'm not even going to talk about those numbers. I'm talking about our shooting numbers. It is making me very nervous. We can't shoot for some strange reason. Even the night. We won the night. But we still didn't shoot. They shot 37% for, uh, for their field goal. They couldn't shoot the night. So, and they still shot more threes than us. 11 to our 10. Unbelievable. We can't shoot. We got to get it together. Joe Harris, you almost made my waist man. Joe Harris, since the Bulls game. I don't know what's been going on with you, man. Come on, baby. Come on, Joe. I hear you in the trade rumors. I ain't feeling that. I ain't feeling that. I like the team we got. I don't think we need Aaron Gordon. You guys tell me what y'all think. Do we need Aaron Gordon? Do we need Aaron Gordon? We got KD on the shelf, bro. What do we need Aaron Gordon for this year? Somebody talk to me. Is this is this rumor real? Ah, uh, somebody talk to me, man. I ain't feeling that. I ain't feeling none of that. All right? Ah, uh, this game is over, guys. Ah, uh, I'm happy we won. It was great to see a win at Barclays, but guess what? It's over. Finito. Finish. Se fini. I didn't know I was bilingual. Huh. Y'all already know. Let's get to the next game. And the next game is Sacramento Kings. They are coming to the Bar Lays on Friday. Oh, yeah. That's right. 1122. November 22nd, 7.30 p.m. 
Are you guys gonna be watching? Hmm? Let me know if you're gonna be watching. You know I will be. <laughs> you know I will be. I need another W! Kyrie, please come back! Kyrie, come on, man! We holding it down without you! Two and one without you! But I don't know about the Aaron Fox, but you know what? They're winning. I trust you. You might not need Kyrie. Kings are playing better. They're playing better. Watch out. They been, they started off slow, but they're playing better. So watch out for that game. I know I'm going to be watching. I'm excited. Oh, yeah. Love it when we win. That's right. Feel that energy. It's me and Mizzle, man. Safe man. The energy guard. Y'all know me. Right? All right. Okay, guys. Don't forget to follow us at BK Network. It's right there. Follow us at BK Network on Instagram. Don't forget to leave us some comments. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe. Even if you don't like this video, you want to leave me a negative comment. You want to, you want to talk, talk shh to me. Go ahead, talk. Go ahead, I don't care. Tough skin, told you. Doesn't matter to me. Go ahead, talk to me. But if you want to say some nice stuff too, come on. I like nice stuff too. I prefer that actually. All right. For BK Network, it's your man Mizzle.